And so well, when ladies. women get on board with these guys, with the men, it's it's on y'all. We ladies, know. do y'all we do y'all so see the, the the conundrum that we men are in? We stay single, we turn end up in prison or some stupid shit or whatever, just getting with the wrong woman. Then we get with a woman, she takes half our shit, don't let us see our fucking kids, divorce us or whatever, you know, and or call the police on us, and, and now we're in fucking prison, and and our wife did it, like. Do y'all see the conundrum that the typical black man is in, the type of shit that we got to deal with? Do we want to be with this woman and, and trust her with our kids or whatever, and she takes half our shit? Or either do we stay out here and deal with these goofy-ass women out here as, as single men doing, trying to do the right thing by just being single, and then we turn around and end up being, looking stupid? Do y'all see the shit we got to deal with just as women? Yeah, I mean, I grew up seeing it. Where I'm from in Mississippi, I, I spoke about this uh, on another another time where uh, the town I'm from, we still have a school for different races. Black kids go to another school. White kids go to another school. Uh, at one point, man, we I saw a lot of young men go to jail. Some of them still in jail for being for talking to the white girls. And their parent told them, you better say that they break you. I don't saw it. Mm -hmm. A lot of times. <laughs> and some of them commit suicide. It, it, it's, it's crazy because they can't deal with the pressure of no one believing them. Yeah. So I and there's, there's, there's no there's no penalty for a woman lying. And I think that's the main issue too because if a woman lies about that there should be a penalty. She shouldn't be able to just walk the streets freely you know, knowing that she lied and, you know, being able to sleep in her comfortable bed at night, knowing that she lied on someone to have them falsely, you know, put away. I think that, th that there needs to be some type of penalty. Guys, listen up. As you get older, the best way to continue to look young, exuberant, and vibrant is to continue to take care of your skin. That's why I'm excited to have T. Chanley as a sponsor of today's video. You heard me talk about them before and you're going to continue to hear me talk about them because I believe in their products and the positive impact that they have on every man's life. Teach Hanley makes taking care of your skin so easy. They provide you with all the products you need and nothing that you don't. Every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. La P family, I must admit, skincare wasn't always something I always focused on, but since I started using this system, I've seen improvements in the way my skin looks and feels. And you don't have to take my word for it. They have over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers from around the world. Mm -hmm. I recommend you start with the level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer, and a PM moisturizer. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Handley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off retail price, the ability to customize your box, pause or cancel at any time, and free U.S. shipping. And because Teach Handley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click that first link in the description and you'll get 30% off the first box plus the free gift. Seriously, that's an amazing deal. Even though it's too early, as I often say, it's never too late. Click that link and get started today. But even when the, the man chooses to get married, she turns around and fucks him over there. Oh, way. you chose wrong. You chose wrong. Oh, wrong. Okay. 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 Like for Don't real, worry. I'm re I'm okay. recruiting. I just feel like I feel like a man. I feel like when men stop fucking these bitches, shit would be a whole lot of. I'm I'm recruiting. It's I'm gonna recruiting. get worse. I'm recruiting Balancing, Balancing, Precious, and Mommy. I'm recruiting them. <laughs> they they're gonna be my new advocates. They're gonna be on my team, and we I gonna just, change it. We gonna change this shit. I just feel like y'all got man. Y'all gotta stop. What about Sayeda? You ain't gonna recruit Sayeda. Sayeda don't know. She don't <laughs> care. She not. She not on no side. So I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something that I have noticed is that. And people don't take it. I don't create my points or my way of thinking on a group. I don't. I don't think like you. I don't. I analyze things and I create my own perspective of things. I don't talk about someone else's talking point. I create my own analysis of things. So that's why sometimes I don't disagree with you. I don't agree with them. I, you know, I, the I thing, you know, have a different point. But the interesting thing about that, and respectfully. Um, that's the worst kind of woman. And I even take that from a spiritual perspective. You know, 
from the foundation of who I who I am. Um, and you probably don't believe the way you I gotta pick a side. But even even biblically, God said either be hot or cold, but to be lukewarm, exactly to be lukewarm, I spit you out of my mouth. I hate fence riders. I hate people that right. be in the middle. And you know the thing about it is that either. Even on even on a road, right? If you going if you right or you going left or you going this way or you going that way, the people in the middle are the ones that get ran over the most. And so, I me personally, I can't do anything with a fence rider, or I can't work with, or I can't align my. Because see, if, if if somebody say that they hate me or they against me or they don't they don't they don't ride with what it is that you I ride. You know where to compartmentalize cool them at. Yep. I'm cool with that because that yep. means that. They actually stand for something and, and and we don't have to agree on everything, but it's something that we may have in common that we can align with. Or I may be able to learn from you or you learn from me. But people that just fence ride, sometimes I just wonder, what's the objective in the first place? What's the what's the point of even ha what's I the point of having an opinion about anything other than to just say, well, I don't know. I'm not saying that I'm person not, is the most untrustworthy saying, person. Well, that's no. why me and Saida oh, no, keep getting into it because you keep doing this weird fence riding shit. Like no, because what happens is that you let you make people think that they have to be on your side or nothing. No, and that's, we not, that's not hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not done yet. I respect your opinion. I don't know you, and I still respect your opinion. All of your opinion. I respect you. I don't have to agree with you. You cannot force me to. That's kind of the point. Let her finish. Let her finish. I don't have to agree with you. I can respect your opinion, and I can partially agree with what you're saying. I can try to analyze and digest little by little what you're saying. Maybe he meant it this way. I'm not assuming what you're saying. I'm not taking it personally. You're not attacking me. I'm not emotional over this. You can say whatever you want to say. I'm still gonna be neutral about my opinion. This and if you don't oh, like it, okay. Shit. Probably I don't. But I, I never you. said that you had to agree with me. I don't know where you got that from. No, you you just said it right now. I did. I said either you could be for me either. or against me. Be against the thing yeah. that I don't necessarily care for is to just be right be a fence rider the whole time. Because there's no, there's literally not a purpose of saying I don't have a thought about anything. Like the human brain thoughts. literally <laughs> doesn't even operate like that. You're either left, right, your left brain, like something. But to simply say on every issue or scenario, well, I, I am neutral to everything. Like that's almost not even human. Okay. Uh, Go ahead, Balance. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, and I want to say also, um, I know that she... <laughs> Don't stop. Could you take me? Could you start zooming in on me? Thank you. Um, I got you, you, stay right you stay right there. Difference in this. It's, it's a different dynamic. So you're not going to gang up on my sis. But I do want to say this, that um, she, she, when she does have points, she makes her points and she says what she agrees with. And she's very clear and she's well spoken. And I love her being on the panel with me Um, in terms of like the topic. <laughs> I'm thinking about like MLK, I'm thinking about Tupac, Michael Jackson, all my brothers that were, all my brothers that were accused of things they did not do. You know what I'm saying? And they were either murdered, assassinated, lied on, thrown in jail. It's always something. So, I mean, it happens a lot. It happens to men in my own family. So that's why I'm so passionate about it. You know what I mean? As an American woman. So I could speak um, from the standpoint as an American woman. So I've seen it in my family. I've seen it constantly so i i it, it angers me honestly it angers me very much and um it, it saddens me too because you know men are still in jail over a woman lying and, it, and it's, it's sickening to my stomach and i'm bringing it up because that's why i even started my youtube because i i say all the time like i'm an anti-feminist and i'm pro-family because we need more women standing up we need more women that's pro-family we need more women that's standing with our men not against them